Hey, what's up, YouTube? Antayami here with a really awesome video here talking about the tier list and the comparison between number of tier lists here. So, featuring today, we have the official tier list, which dropped a couple weeks ago from this video. And um, I'm actually recording this after the very last video for Zero's tier list, because we're going to be talking about that. And also, I'm going to be talking about my tier list video that I made in 1.16. Kind of near when the game, when that patch kind of, kind of came out. Been, I think about like a month. And I decided to make a random tier list video about that. Um, so if you guys haven't seen my tier list videos and some of my explanations and things like that, um, definitely check that out. But if not, um, zero tier list video is 10 times better than mine. And I agree with 95% of everything he talked about for so my was because obviously he's traveling in many places, things like that. So further ado let's jump into this video we're going to talk about today and um guys i want to talk about what defines a tier list like what is a tier list a lot of people have been asking about that and i want to jump right into that and let you guys know what a tier list is and i feel a lot of people don't un understand so um a tier list is basically a list that ranks all characters based on the strengths of their fighting abilities and to their potentials to win matches under tournament conditions Assuming that each um, player is equally skilled, a tier list is decided based on the analyzation of the following, which means basically um, the meta game, how each character move. Um, they're kind of like their move stats and they're like statistics, basically like the frame data and things like that. More on um, characters' matchups. Basically, if a character has um, less bad matchups and it can be like 95 percent of the character cast and only maybe lose the one or two matchups who has the most winning matchups a character that you know obviously in a tier list you got to see results and things like that in motion like let's just say for example if rosalina is the best character in the game and has potentially the least amount of matchups that she loses but have not taken any tournaments or top eight or anything like that um theoretically she's the best but not proven to be the best you know you got to have results to back that up so that's why i define the tier list and i think it's really important keys to keep in mind with all these lists that's about to happen and um yeah so let's just go ahead and we're going to compare each of these lists real quick um so like i said i have the official which is presented here right now with diddy kong showing right here being the best character on this list so you guys can get a good gander on how this looks this list looks like and um you guys can see the play percentage and i thought this list was pretty good and i, I looked at it a couple times and i'm like mm. there's some things i'll definitely switch over but i can get into the major details because that's not the point of this video the point of the video is to compare some of the list and i'm going to talk about which list do you think that we should pick between um the official or do we just pick somebody's opinionated list and that's what we're going to talk about um, so just give me an example a little flash here. This is the official and I'm gonna go ahead and flash up to my next one is going to be more of my list Which I made about like I'm gonna say a month after the patch have dropped um, I didn't include the me's and again if you guys see my list before you guys already know what my list looks like And we can talk about that but as for comparison at least on my list You can see that puff Ganon, Zelda are at the bottom of this one and then puff well, I had Zelda here, but it's walked around, but it's kind of similar. And um, I, I think on this one, I got like talking, looking at top five here. Cause we're going to compare about the bottom and top things in between can always change. But I want to just focus on the top of the bottoms of that one. And then on this one, we have Diddy Kong Cloud Sheik up here. And then on this one, I have Cloud in the second spot, um, Sheik in the third spot just there right but i have rosalina and diddy Kong swapped around here and i got it you know and then you know just kind of like something similar you know like i wasn't too far off of what the official would look like because i was trying to make it at least biased as possible and also have results for the, the you know the list and things like that and i think i wasn't that bad off i mean i have the bottom correct and i have the top correct which i think is more important and the middle will fill itself in um based off of different potentials of each character because we've seen the max potential of characters and we've seen the bottom of the characters that don't really have too many options um so jumping into that i think this is kind of okay 
Um, obviously, there's some things that could have been slightly different in my list. And I definitely will probably make some really big changes in this. But um, essentially, when I made this list, I thought Rosalina was the best character. And um, just because I feel like she wins the match, and just because I just had a simple fact that each character in the top position has something really, really overpowered over the most characters. Like some singularly fact that was really better. Um, I just thought that the fact that Rosalina has a Luma made her that much better than most characters. And the fact that Cloud has Limit makes that much better than the character. And then the fact that uh, Sheik has a really amazing frame data. Um, puts him ahead of a lot of characters and Diddy Kong with the banana um, and utilizing that, you know, things like that. So I just that's how I assume that's how to uh, rank to see who's better. Um, so, um, with that said, let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into Zero's list. Which, sorry, it's a little blurry because I took this picture actually on my phone and sent it to my computer, so it's gonna be a little blurry. So, you guys can kind of see it. If you can't see it, I apologize. Um, but check out his video, um, shout out to Zero and his really good explanation on his tier list. I definitely agree more of his list than the actual official tier list just because of his explanation behind it. It's just so much detail and you can hard to disagree with it because you'd be like, I don't kind of agree with him, the character being here. Then you hear his explanation you'd be like, true point. Like, you, you know, you can't argue with that. So, um, again, um, going back to his list and the official tier list, let's just take the bottom here. And I'm not including the Miis here, so you can play with that. So he has Puff, Zelda, Ganon here at the bottom tier list. And we got Puff, Ganon, you know, kind of have the same way similar here. And um, as you see here at the top, we have Rosalina at number one, which in the official, that's number one. He has Sonic as number two. And then in the official, Sonic is number, like, five. So, um, you know, I kind of agree that Sonic is top three, in my opinion, even though on my tier list... That's not the case. It's kind of he's kind of far down here. Um, I just thought because Sonic actually loses the matchup between these characters up here. Now thinking about it, I don't. I kind of agree that Sonic kind of beats some of these characters up here, especially Ryu and things like that. But I wasn't thinking about the matchup. I was just thinking about what characters can do and their options explored and things like that. So definitely um, changing that. Um, Zero definitely got Ryu here as third, and then in official Ryu is like number one, two, three. Number, sorry, my mouth is off. Like number nine. So, um, just a couple, of just just a little bit different things, you know. So, you know what? Doesn't really matter. Um, opinions is to each his own. Everybody's gonna have their own opinion. Nobody's tier list is exactly the same. My opinion. Um, there might be a couple of people that agree on the same tier list and things like that. But I think if somebody make their own official tier list, it would not be the same. So. That's just my thoughts about that. My tier list is definitely vastly different in my head now than what it is prior. So anyway, um, now going back to the question, which tier list do you guys think is correct? I think there's no such thing as a correct tier list. I think the tier list is an ongoing changing thing. Um, I think your tier list is correct in the, in the moment, but vastly changes after it is made. So I think the tier list is incorrect after maybe one tournament or is incorrect after a certain period of time because things are changing, things are being developed. I think if the game is 100% figured out and everything is maxed out, then the tier list is efficient. Um, but until then, there's a lot of characters that are on potent potential, but they are placed here just because of past results to this point, like to this moment. I think a tier list is always changing. So I don't think anybody list is correct. I just think that if you have facts that backed up to where you think your play your characters are placed on your list um, is solid, then I think that's where the character belongs, but not officially. So, um, that's just what I think about that. So, if you... I think your list is the correct list. If you believe that the character is here and you have backed up with facts and things like that and results and matches spreads and moves, you know, things like that, um, then your list is correct. Um, and there's no one, like, wrong list. Um, and the thing I'm gonna focus on more than just the player, like, the, the, the placement of the characters, I will 100% agree that, um, that maybe Diddy Kong is the best character in the game. Or maybe it's Rosalina. Who knows? You know, but I've actually agreed with not caring who's the best or not. Um, because that will show up and that will show up in the game as the game comes on. But I also want to agree with the matchup details. Now, what I mean by matchup details is that which character wins or lose the matchup and how they win or lose it. And what the characters need to avoid to win or lose the matchup. Because I mean all stage has a major point. 
um, neutral has a major point, being disadvantaged or advantage has a major point in the tier list. I want to know the details of what works. Now, what I've seen when Zero went against Salem, um, what I've noticed is that um, every time Diddy Kong or Zero shot out a banana, Salem was there to counter it because he actually knew the matchup. He understands how the matchup works. Even though people say that um, Diddy Kong beats um, Bayonetta, but who won the match? Bayonetta did because I felt like Bayonetta or Salem was way more prepared in the details of the matchup and won over Zero just because of that knowledge. Not necessarily that Zero is better or Diddy Kong wins the matchup, but Salem was way more prepared. He understands the matchup because I think it was really clever that every time Diddy Kong did a down B, um, Salem was there to shoot it with Nutri B and it canceled out. Like that little small stuff like that, I'm more in appeal to that because that actually matters, not necessarily Diddy Kong's number one, Bayonet is number 10, or Rosalina is number one. It's like if you understand that matchup, you're going to win. I mean, that's just how it goes. But um, that's just my like analysis on the tier list video and things like that. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos lately um, due to a lot of work. And things like that and i wish i can stick more with youtube but um maybe in the future i'll post up more videos more consistently but um i just want to go ahead and throw this out here and give you guys my opinion on it and let you guys know what i feel about it give me guys your comment below of what you guys feel like what the tailor should be like you know want to see your tier list i want to see you guys make a tier list or maybe like a de description or um just a list of yours and to see how how I feel like how I see you think you know I think it's really important to see how other people think and view and things like that not just because you guys are like you know top players or anything but it's just really cool to see other people's opinions on things so all right without further ado guys I catch you guys in the next video and Antayami is out catch you guys later peace